Okay, I'm out here on my 2016 uh, GMC Sierra, and I've got the new X-Tool D8 scanner, and I thought I'd just do a quick walkthrough to compare this to my Autel MS-906TS. Anybody that's watched any of my videos has probably seen the walkthroughs that I do whenever different vehicles come in. I'll hook my MS-906TS up. Uh, just to show what kind of active test and special functions that scan tool is capable of. Uh, that way, if you're looking for a scan tool, you can kind of get an idea of what kind of things you can expect out of it. Well, this scan tool is is half the price of the Autel. It is a corded scan tool, so it is you are tethered by about a five foot cord uh, to the OBD uh, port. So. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough, just a, a, a real quick familiarization with this scan tool hooked to a 2016 GMC Sierra pickup. Uh, this is a four-wheel drive, and I'll go through both the different ways that you do a, a, a de to detect the vehicle. So if you click Diagnose, uh, of course you can manually put in what you've got, but if you click up here on the VIN, you've got Auto Scan. You got scan code, so this has got a camera, and you would, if your uh, door uh, identification sticker has a barcode, uh, you can scan it, and if all goes good, it'll detect the event, or you can manually input it. Uh, if you go back to the main screen, if you just do auto scan, uh, it'll go through and detect by using the com uh, the computer on the vehicle and detects the bin and puts everything in uh, so right now if you do auto diagnose it will go through and look at all the codes I will say it is faster than my Autel when it comes to doing that uh, probably because it is tethered by a cord the Autel is Bluetooth so it's it's got to go through a wireless uh, communication. But right now what we're going to do, we're going to just go through the different modules. Uh, these are all the different modules. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly click on one. Uh, this is a 5.3. And we're going to, this does have the uh, R, RPO code uh, M5U 8-speed transmission. And we're going to just quickly go through and see what the actuation test and special functions uh, offer on this scan tool for this car. First we're going to do actuation test uh, and I'm just going to let you kind of read what what we got there and I'll put a link up in the right hand corner of the screen to the MS-906 walkthrough on this truck so you can kind of compare, you know, what you're seeing here and compared to what the Autel has. Here's special functions. Okay, we got learn functions. Four different learn, what they're calling learn functions. And then three reset functions. So not too bad. Again, this scanner is about half the price. Uh, I'll put a link to this scanner in the uh, description okay we're going to do actuation test for the transmission then special functions does offer the service fast learn option body control module actuation test Um, I'll go ahead and click chassis control just to see what that is. Brake, transmission, shift, interlock solenoid. Okay. Anyway, that's actuation test. We'll do special functions. You can uh, add, replace key fobs. Okay, we're going to do electronic brake module, actuation.
special functions. HVAC control module. Now this does have the dual zone. And we're going to do actuation test. Inflatable restraints. Actuation. Configure new module. That's a big one. So if you have an, air, an airbag deployment, a lot of vehicles, you either have to reset the module or replace it. So this scan tool will allow you to configure a new module. Instrument cluster. No special functions under instrument cluster. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked that. This this is not a hybrid, so it is not going to have the uh, power trade control module for a hybrid. But let's see if it if it was a hybrid. Let's see if it will actually give a list. Okay. So if this was a hybrid. Under actuation test, you've got some some tests there. See what special functions has. Reset functions. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Fuel economy reset. Okay. Uh, this is not a diesel, but you know what? It might get, get us close enough to where we can see what options it would offer uh, if it was a diesel. Actuation. Okay. Special functions. Injector flow rate programming. Uh, doesn't have a power takeoff, but okay. This is under telematics, a communication interface. Remove reset module, so it allows you to do that. Uh, this is another hybrid powertrain control module. Probably be similar, similar things that the other one's got, I would imagine. Okay, special functions. Onboard jump assist counter reset. So uh, it's different stuff than that other one. Fuel injector control module. This will be for diesel. Natural gas it looks like. CNG. Parking assist. Okay. That's all you got under that chassis control module. I'm trying to get through, through this as fast as possible, guys. Trailer brake. Passenger presence module. And this does feel like a very solid tool. It doesn't feel cheap. Um... You know, so I mean, it, in 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 real in real life, it looks it looks professional, feels professional. Doesn't look like it's just one of those uh, you know cheap things that you'd get at Walmart. Okay, so this is under uh, shoot, didn't mean to do that, but this is under transfer case control module. This is the ECU information, and uh, you know, this is the part number for the uh, module itself. Uh, software part numbers calibration uh, so anytime you see this read ECU information that's the sort of thing you get okay actuation front axle engagement actuator transfer case control range range 
special functions. Okay. I mean, so it's got some pretty good diagnostic capability. Really, for the price, I just don't think you're going to get much much better than this. Okay, that was under uh, left side object detection module. Okay, this is under seat memory. So under seat memory, you're going to have those options. The seat control module also controls the mirror memory. And I have driven my mirrors with, with this tool. I have I have folded the mirror. And I've driven the individual mirror up and down and uh, left and right. So this tool does indeed send the command necessary to, you know, control what it says it should control. Uh, so all this, this is the distance sensing cruise control, which this truck does not have. They didn't offer that actually this year for this truck. But if, if a car did have it... Uh, then this is what you would have. I'm just going to cancel all that. That way we can get past this. I probably shouldn't have hit that. I just wanted to see if there was going to be other options underneath it. Power steering control module. This got electric power steering. Special functions. Suspension. This doesn't actually have a suspension control module, but if it did, that's what you would have. A Denali has the suspension control module because it actually has uh, shock absorbers, uh, air actuated shock absorbers. Parking brake. Which this vehicle does not have a uh, parking brake control module. At least I don't think it does. Okay, that was amplifier. Nothing really to see there. Uh, now, there was an option to have power running boards, which is what this is. This is the assist step control module. So you could actuate the left and the right steps if it if it had it human machine interface control module almost there h back remember there was another h back uh set uh option up top two that we went through radio controls one thing that uh, a lot of scan tools don't have that hopefully hopefully this one will have it when we get over here to radio is if you try to replace a radio on a lot of these vehicles you put a new let's say you get a salvage yard radio and think you're just going to put it in and even if you got it out of the same making model the year making model uh there's a good chance it's not going to work uh, and that's for theft prevention. But if you have... Now, this does have the up-level radio. This is an IO6, I think. That's an RPO code. You look at your RPO code to see what option you got there. Uh, this is an actuation test. But uh, hopefully, under special functions here, uh, it'll have to where you can 
uh, yeah, control module reset. If you put a different radio in this, you you have to reset it because there's a uh, I think there's a password or something that that you got to do so that the radio will work. I've actually never done it. I've just read about it. Yeah, that's what that control module reset's all about. But anyway, we made it to the end. Uh, this again is a uh, 2016 GMC Sierra, and as of today's date, this software GM 11.30 is the latest software for General Motors. Uh, but that's what this tool is capable of on this particular vehicle. Uh, this is the X-Tool D8. Uh, I'll put a description if you're interested in getting one of these. Uh, for the price, it's going to be hard to beat, I think. Uh, the extended folks, well, I did a video on the actual main walkthrough of this, powered it up. Up, doing the updates and everything so if you want to see the rest of it uh, you can watch that video i'm not going to make this one any longer than i have to anyway till next time you guys take care we'll see you in the next one